Listen, if you came onto this video and you're actually just buying for yourself, it's okay, we're all friends here. The Nintendo Switch system is probably one of my favorite consoles at the moment, and by favorite consoles at the moment, it's been my favorite console since launch. And with the holidays coming up, and you're probably looking for some gifts, maybe you can consider buying a Nintendo Switch, or maybe someone you're buying for already has a Nintendo Switch. So what are the best things that you can get for the person, your gift receiver, for their Nintendo Switch system? Well, let's talk about it. So maybe you're a parent, a friend, or a girlfriend, and you're looking to buy gifts for someone, and you don't know what to get them. You know they like Nintendo, you know they have a Switch. What do you exactly get them? Now, your first response might be, hey, maybe I can buy them some games. And in my opinion, unless you know and you can view exactly every single game that they have, don't buy games because they'll probably either have it or the other thing, they either don't want to play it and then they have to go and return it. I say if you want to buy games, the easiest way to do so is to buy an eShop card. Now, if they don't mind digital games, which is, in my opinion, I don't like digital, look, you can tell. Uh, but in my opinion, if they do like buying digital games, an eShop card is just a gift card to use on the Nintendo Switch's digital store. And it's a great gift because they can choose whatever game they want to buy just by going on the Nintendo Switch system. Now, what I think is always better for the Switch is accessories. At Christmas time, accessories I think are really good for the Switch because these can appeal to basically anyone no matter what type of games they like. Sure, some accessories are for certain games like the Mario Kart wheel, but like I said, if you can already identify what games they have, you can probably narrow down these accessories to what accessories they would use and what accessories they would like. First off, the biggest accessory I want to bring up is buying a case for the Switch system. This is currently the case that I have, and honestly, it's a pretty good case. This, the one that I have, it can open and it has 12 spots for games, plus a small sat satchel, or basically just in a small area to put some smaller accessories like headphones, and I can even fit a Game Boy Advance in here, so if they want to fit their GBA in here, yeah, they can, it's possible. A Switch case doesn't have to be this one, this is just the one that I'm highlighting, and this one I really like. I bought this for $40, but it's the nice thing that also comes with some added other goodies in it, but mainly the case I think is really good just for how much you get in it. You get a good space for accessories, and 12 games is a huge library that you can take with you on the go, plus any of their digital stuff. Now, if they're into Smash Brothers Ultimate, may I interest them in a Hori Pad uh, GameCube style controller. Ever since Smash Brothers Melee, the GameCube controller has always been viewed as the best way to play Smash, and this is just a GameCube controller that plugs in USB, and it really it works really well. Now, the person may be wondering why are the uh, triggers and the bumper switched? All you have to do is press down on ZR and ZL uh, while you're plugging the thing in, and it'll give off a red light. That's how you know that you switch the things around. And it's actually really easy just to uh, switch them around. So it is one minor flaw, but it's really easy, easy fix in a matter of like five seconds. Now, another thing that I would like to highlight is maybe you already got to a lot of them a lot of stuff, but you're just thinking, what can I put in their stockings or something just for like a cheap price of like 10 bucks? May I interest you in thumbsticks? Because this is something you would never, they would never buy. And if you literally, I swear, if you're giving someone just thumbsticks, Please rethink your entire giving list because thumbsticks are really lame, but if you are just have an extra $10 and just want to throw in something in their stocking, they are a pretty easy thing just to put in the stocking because they're only like 10 bucks, and basically anyone can use them for their Switch system. If they're going to use them, they probably just wouldn't buy them themselves. Another thing, if they're into Mario Kart, maybe get a Mario Kart wheel. This is the official licensed one by Nintendo and it's made by Nintendo. My only problem though is that this one is a lot smaller, so there are other alternatives that are a lot bigger and they feel way more comfortable. So this one, if you want to go official, go this one, but I'd say get something else which are a little bit more expensive, but they're a lot bigger and feel much better in their hands and less if the person you're buying for is a, has really, really tiny hands. 
Now, another thing that I could also interest in is maybe getting them the Pokeball Plus. This came out last year for Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee. And while the games are dated, they are still fun, and they might not have, if they are a big Pokemon fan, and they might not have Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee, they might want to have this if they are getting the games, or they already have the games, they just don't have the Pokeball Plus. The cool thing about it is that it can also be used as basically a device in Pokemon Go, where you can trap and spin Pokestops in the game, so if they're into Pokemon Go, you can also use it for that. Now, it is a bit pricey, it's $60, but I have heard a lot of rumors that the game, or not the game, the uh, Pokeball Plus will be going on sale around Black Friday for a much more affordable and cheap price. So, if you are looking for a budget item for a Pokemon fan, this one actually might not be a bad option if they do did like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee or they play Pokemon Go. Now, these are two things that I would like to highlight that I do not have. I don't own these, but these things are pretty self-explanatory on how they work. Number one is a Bluetooth audio receiver, and basically all it does is it connects Bluetooth headphones for your Nintendo Switch system, so you don't have to worry about plugging it in because the Switch doesn't actually support Bluetooth, but you can just plug this into the bottom of your Switch, and you're good to go for Bluetooth. And it even works with AirPods, so if you're an Apple fanboy or girl, you can use AirPods with it. Another thing I'd like to also highlight is the Split Pad Pro. This thing is for much more hardcore gaming, so if you know someone who likes things like Overwatch or Fortnite and they play their Switch in handheld mode, this thing is probably, it's $65, but for the value you get in this and how much this is probably going to help them rather than just using the Joy-Cons, yeah, I say it's a worthy investment if you are looking for something. That is basically all of the accessories for the Nintendo Switch system that you can get this holiday season that I would personally recommend. Two of them I didn't have, so I can't say too much about them. I just can say what they are. Base that for yourself. All of the other ones I talked about, I own them. I can talk about them. So, I hope you guys did find this helpful. If you did, please consider clicking the subscribe button for more videos and consider clicking the like button. It really helps out the channel. So, until next time, guys, I will see you guys later, and peace out.